Welcome to Fireside with Pete. Today we're going to be building a server. And the reason we're going to be building at Fireside, or at least in front of my fireplace, is because this is the only place with a monitor that works. If you guys saw my recent video that my place isn't set up yet, well, it's not set up yet. But I need a server in order to set it up, and that's what I'm going to be building today is a server. So. I thought I would film it so you guys could see what was going on, how it was going to come together, but at the same time, the only real space that I have for it is in the living room by the fire with my TV mounted above it. Cool, let's get to it. First thing to say is this totally isn't the case that I thought I was buying. I thought I was buying one with uh, eight slots in the front to mount hard drives, but that's totally not what this is. It looks like there's a spot for multiple hard drives to be put in here, but whatever, I got it for a bargain. It's rack mountable, that's good enough for me. Let's keep rocking with this. It can hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hard drives. That's plenty. I'll just rock with this, whatever. At the heart of this build is this Z270 Extreme 4 AS Rock motherboard. Uh, this one was in the clearance section for $80. Uh, I also got $50 off because I bought a CPU at the same time, so this actually only cost 30 bucks. Just before I screw the motherboard into place, I'm uh, just going to do this Master Watt Lite 500 Cooler Master power supply. Next up, we have the two by four gigabytes. It's a total of eight gigabytes for those of you following along at home. Uh, eight gigabyte DDR4 RAM and the Core i3 processor. It's just a Core i3, it's not that hot, but it's an i3 uh, 7100, which is at the time of making this anyways, this is the latest. It's only a Core i3 because it's just a server. This is just to hold files and do just the lightest amount of work, so an i3 is plenty. Last but not least, the Drivo 256GB SSD that they sent me a long time ago, and actually I haven't had a reason to use this in a long, long time, but I finally have a reason. Thank you very much Drivo for sending this through. I gave it a test in another video, but I'm finally going to get to put it to good use. Thanks again. All right, so there you can see that it's up and going. Uh, the CPU temperature is uh, only 36, which is pretty good right now. There's a the CPU voltage. Uh, you can see the boot priority. I don't have, I'm not running an OS yet. Uh, I've got a ton of stuff to set up, but so far so good. It looks like it's pretty much gonna work. So uh, sweet, from here I'm gonna install an OS, uh, definitely Linux, um, and then go from there. Thanks very much for tuning in today, guys. Don't forget to check in the About section below for links to everything that you saw today, although most of it you probably won't be able to buy because it's either end of line or uh, very cheap. Uh, but take a look, and maybe you'll find uh, cool stuff that will inspire you to make your own build. Thanks again for tuning in today, guys. Don't forget to press like. Don't forget to press subscribe. And we'll see you guys back again very soon indeed. See you then.